Hey guys, Chris the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. So today I am kind of walking around and this is because I am going to be hiking up to my uh, usual paragliding takeoff site that I think could also double as a great uh, spot for astrophotography and camping. So I'm thinking about doing that at some point, although with uh, winter approaching, it's gonna be quite cold. <laughs> Mount Fuji is right there, as we can see it. I'm going to hike up. It's only around 200 meters um, altitude difference. So it's gonna take me 20 to 25 minutes. And what I have in my backpack and here, it's all of my paragliding equipment for hike and fly uh, paragliding, which means that in my backpack right now, which weighs around eight kilograms, um, I have a whole aircraft, which is a lot of fun. Now, problem being, if I do decide to do uh, astrophotography as well from that particular takeoff spot, will I have enough space to put not only my aircraft in my backpack, but also space to uh, actually put some astrophotography equipment that I don't know. Behind me, by the way, apparently this used to be a school uh, for the, the grade after kindergarten but because like population in this particular village has got down and older, it's no longer used. And we're properly entering into a mountain kind of uh, trail here. This trail in the morning is full of uh, spider waves. So I'm gonna be careful. This is also a trail, by the way, to um, a shrine at the top of the uh, mountain slash hill. Yeah, always, uh, Always interesting uh, walking around in uh, in Japan. How beautiful are the Japanese mountains in the morning? Ah, I love this kind of view. And we've arrived at the takeoff spot, which I think will also make a great place if there are no clouds for astrophotography. I can see the view to the south southeast, and so. What I now need to do is to get ready. By the way, about those low-level clowns, they're called uh, unkai in Japanese, or sea of clouds. And astrophotographers here, they look for days where there will be a sea of clouds that is lower than like the, the fifth station on Mount Fuji, where people can drive to, so that they can go on such a day, they have a beautiful night sky, and underneath them, there's the sea of cloud that's actually blocking all of the light pollution from the city. How smart is that? Because this spot, it's, I think it's great for astrophotography, but it's still a Bortle 4, Bortle 5, which is like, you know, something very easy to find in a place like the United States. A bit more difficult here in Japan. Okay, let me get ready. Okay, so now I'm going to do my pre-takeoff checklist. Uh, one for the helmet strap, two for the carabiners, three for the harness, four for the lines on the wing, and starve, S for speed bar, T for turn direction, yes to the left, A for airspace, R for radio, yes, V and E for Electronics and even pressure, we are good. Okay, we are clear. No wind or almost no wind. Beautiful landscape. Let's go. Okay, Nice, what a beautiful view. Back there is Mount Fuji. And the uh, green area down there is where I'm going to land. It's cloudy, so the air is glassy smooth and it is beautiful. So it's a great relaxing flight. Now my landing area right down there is actually uh, one of the most technical, let's say club areas or school areas to land at in Japan. Right now there's actually a way that it can be very uh, easy. Um, but I'm not used to actually the easy way, so I'm going to go the uh, the hard way, which is 
what I'm the uh, most used to. We can see the landing, there is no wind, so it's very, very calm as expected. I'm not the level of those little clouds. Isn't that beautiful? And very soon I'll stop talking because we'll approach landing and a sterile cockpit, right? Okay, and now I've had breakfast. The uh, landing spot is actually right where my finger is, right behind the building. And uh, we flew from uh, somewhere there, I guess. Yes, that should be the spot we flew from. So it's only 200 meters height difference. So that's why the flight is so short, unless you're in the middle of the day and it's a sunny day, and then you can do like hawks and turn in thermals, rise in columns of air, and go to crazy altitudes. It's a lot of fun. The takeoff spot can be a great astrophotography place. I think the landing as well. We'll see. So sorry, uh, no astrophotography for this video, but uh, I hope you enjoy it anyway. With that, don't forget whenever you came to look up at the stars, and I'll see you next time.